Yvonne, what a cool bike, man. Yeah, you tell me really. a little bit about this. We made some dials in wood marketry. Right. So I decided to make a full bike in wood marketry. Wow. And uh, every single slice of wood is like one, 1.5 millimeters. You can see the individual lines yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of wood. Yeah, even <laughs> this is all in wood marketry. Usually we do wood marketry on the dials right. like this. So to be on such big surface was uh, quite a challenge. Incredible. Yes, and tell us a little bit about the, where we are, man. This so is, this is one cool of my view. favorite places because really from here, you see all Geneva. Right. With such a view. Why don't we go take a look? Sure. Wow, so you can really see the jeté d'eau from here. Yes. I mean, it must be pretty inspiring to be like out in this environment. Yeah, right? really, right. very much so, I agree. Yeah, it's, what else can you ask? Honestly, it's... Well, dude, we went to your atelier, uh, we did a bike ride. Yeah. We're now gonna head down to your boutique, right? To go yeah. check out some yes, uh, really cool, yes. complicated watches. Yes. And I believe you got a 12 year minute repeater show. Yeah, I want to show you. Let's do it. Latest. Let's okay, roll. let's go. So here, three of the latest minute repeater. What is interesting is the way it was built to enhance the sound of the minute repeater. So here we have an engraving, handmade engraving. I put a skull because it's a little bit rock and roll minute repeater. Titanium and gold. The size of the watch is great. Yeah, it's 41, it's perfect. Right. It's a glass box to enhance the sound. Right. As well, all the bridges are made by hand, finished, and titanium. Also, again, for the purity of the sound. It's cool that you've integrated into watchmaking with a real authenticity. I mean, the finishing on the tourbillon cage, for example, is great. Yes, and the details of the engravings are fabulous. Yeah, and I fabulous. see here you've got a, a flying regulator or inertia regulator. Yes. As well to keep the, the sound very quiet underneath the strike Totally train. right. Okay, so may I ask you please to activate the light? Yes. Dude, that's excellent. Very pure, very crystalline. The, the, the song of the watch is great. It's deep, yes. so I like that, right? It's got a really nice um, a song to it, like a, but also the, the regulation of the strikes are perfect as well, yes. right? Like the gap in between the hours and the quarters and the minutes is just right. And then each strike has a real nice precision to it as well. Thank you very much, yeah. totally right. Yes, yeah, yes, can I take yes. a look at the watch? For sure, it's a pleasure. So tell me about the movements, uh, Ivan. So this is the development we made with uh, Pierre Favre. Um, you know, Pierre, uh, we lost Pierre of course. three years ago. Right. So I have all the development and uh, I still work with two watchmakers from his team to carry on this uh, magnificent movement and magnificent work. The latest one is the skeleton, totally skeletonized. Yeah. And as well, we did a square one, which is a smaller size from a huge square one, which I did, which is a double axis, three gong, uh, own movement, the mini repeater that uh, wow. is not here, but uh, right. it's on a smaller version with a single tourbillon. I love the skeletonized version of it as well because you see the entire strike train on the front of the watch. Yes. You know, you see uh, the racks for the, uh, the, the the strike mechanism, and then you, I guess you flip it over and you see the hammers being activated. Yes, yes, very oh. much so. I love the finish of the ah, piece plates. Ah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See also. Dude, you have this the... beautiful Grenet, like sable finish yes, to it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Sable, yeah, titanium sable and hand finished. and. Uh, Yes, this one is more commercial because it's skeleton. everybody loves this type of skeleton. The other one is a real skeleton, so it's right. more rock and roll. But this one is more classic. It's for yeah. any but any any watchmaking lover. Uh, the yeah. this one. Sure. Dude, that's a fantastic repeater. Thank you very much. Really good. Thank you. And may I ask, what would be the price of this watch? So, 365. 
But I love how wearable it is as well. Yes. You know, titanium makes it so light. It also yep. amplifies the sound in a beautiful way. Yes. And the aesthetic, the use of uh, gold and titanium, and you know, like sable, sandblasted titanium, yeah, is really great. Nice. And the yeah. way you've extended that aesthetic into the movement as well. Totally. Super and it's a cool. unique piece. So there's only one like this, only one like this, only one like this. So we do a series of uh, very unique pieces. And tell me a little bit more about this watch. So, okay, it's the same movement right. that we worked to put in a, in a more square uh, version. What I like about this is the design. I tried to make a design where you can see it from different angles. Right. It's like a submarine house, you know? That was the idea. If a submarine house stands the pressure for uh, the water, this should give a good sound to the minute repeater. Because you have yes. you know, three different um, like sort of curved pieces of sapphire that come together to, I would imagine, be water resistant as well. Which uh, yeah, 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then I like the fact that everything here is playing with this concept of elevation. So you've got this floating uh, hour indexes and then you've got the, the flying tour beyond this raised out of the dial as well. Yes, totally Very right. Cool. Yeah, totally right. Your analysis is perfect way. This is really what I wanted to make with this watch. This yeah, really... Can we hear you this one as well? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, let's put a nice time. going faster, but it's easy for me if somebody wants to make it go slow like the other one. This is just some... Yeah, you uh, play with the inertia regulator yes, a little bit. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, a little yeah. faster, but the, the song is still good. Yeah, yeah. very strong for a uh, square. It's, it's really good. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And if someone, like, for example, were to want to come to you and say, like, I want to customize a piece completely, I want to use these materials and so on, would you be able to do that? Yes, we are able. Then we really need to the people to understand all the work which is involved. Sometimes people, uh, yes, uh, they want a design which is not feasible. So uh, you know, like uh, if we get along well, yes, you know, but uh, priority is on the babies existing, of course. Of course. <laughs> and the last thing I want to ask you is, um, I know it's kind of a RT as a family affair, right? Yep. Uh, I met your son earlier yes. uh, up at the workshop. Um, is it true that the boutique is is designed by your lovely wife and yes. this includes her paintings as well? Yes. Uh, not only the boutique, but also all the family of product called Son of Earth. So you have the tobacco, the butterflies, the Son of Sea with real seaweeds and sea things and uh, all the paintings. Yeah, she's an artist and um, yeah, that's a pleasant, uh, pleasant world uh, to, to go and to, to, to do together with my wife, Dominique. Yeah. But those uh, watches with the um, real butterfly wings inside of them and the dial. Yes. Those, so those are done by your wife. Yes, yes, so yes. Those are yes. cool. Yeah. And they are really luminescent. They are something unique. You are the only one to do so. It's unique pieces at a very affordable price. Uh, you can check on archia.com. It's really something amazing. Honestly. Well, Ivan, we've been to your atelier. We rode bikes together. We're here yeah. at your boutique. We listened to your flying tour of your minute repeater. I have to say it's been a great day. Thank you, sir. Thank you to meet you. Appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye.